we really love Global World Congress. It's a great example of some of our core values, um, how the, an open platform can drive innovation across an ecosystem. We love being here and seeing how all the great things our partners create and getting that opportunity for you guys to see all the great things that the ecosystem can create. But another part of uh, why we love coming to Mobile World Congress is showing off the great innovations that we create at Google. And that's why we have the Android Garden. So thanks for coming out today. I'm going to do a quick introduction to a couple people, and they're going to set you guys free to take a look at all the stuff we created. We've got booths all the way down uh, that showcase all the great work we, we have from Google. One thing to note is in the assistant section, we can do demos in Spanish, German, English, and Italian. So definitely come by there. And then I'm going to turn it over to some of my colleagues from Android, from the assistant, from AR and VR, and from Lens to quickly talk you through all the great stuff they got to show you here at the show today. So thanks so much for coming out and uh, enjoy the show. Hi, good morning everybody. Um, my name is Richard. I look after Android platform partnerships for um, Android. Um, I don't know if we should do star jumps or something to warm up because it's really cold. Um, uh, but there we go. So um, we've got two new platforms that we're going to be talking to you about this week on the Android front. Um, first is uh, Android Oreo Go Edition, which is a reincarnation of Android but for low memory devices. So devices between 512 meg up until 1 gig. Comes with three main changes. First, the OS is optimized for low RAM devices, so it works really well. Second is the main Google apps have been re-engineered, so they work in low RAM uh, environments. Uh, and third, the Play Store has been redesigned so that it surfaces um, all of the, the regular Android apps, but also really kind of profiles uh, light apps to give users, new users, for whom it's the, probably the first smartphone, a great experience uh, on an Android device. Um, second, we're going to be talking to you about um, Android One. Now, Android One is about being smart, secure, and what we think is simply amazing. So the device is are really designed with a version of Android which is Google intended, bringing and showcasing all of Android's innovation. Um, uh, and the device is guaranteed to get letter upgrades for two years. Um, second, the device is super secure. So it comes with security updates for three years, meaning that new users uh, have a, a, a guaranteed uh, uh, secure user experience. And third, super smart. Um, in, the in the device is designed and tested to meet strict criteria for, for performance. So it runs really fast, it's got great storage um, and great memory. Um, uh, we've got a ton of the devices for you to look at and to play with. They're way more interesting than me and you can move around and keep warm while you do it. So thank you for joining us and now I'm going to hand it over to Scott. Alright, thanks Richard. Hi everyone. I'm Scott Huffman, I'm the VP of Engineering for the Google Assistant. Uh, thanks for braving the cold. Uh, as you can guess, we are super excited about uh, the whole uh, idea of voice-based AI assistance, uh, and in particular, a smart assistant that knows me and that exists across both my phone uh, and also the other devices in my life, my speakers, my TV uh, that knows about my smart light bulbs, my blinds, all these things, uh, and can allow me to really take control of all those devices easily. Uh, here at MWC, we have a few things that uh, that we're announcing. The biggest one is that the assistant is really going global. Uh, and so we uh, are excited that by the end of 2018, we will be on, a, on available on 30 languages. Uh, and that covers about 95% of all Android users. Uh, and so that's gonna be awesome. The other one that, uh, that I think is really exciting, now for me, I kind of only speak one language and always tell people I can barely speak English, but I know a lot of people speak multiple languages and families speak multiple languages. And so one thing that we're working on to introduce later this year is the idea of the assistant being multilingual. So you'll be able to select multiple languages uh, and then whatever language you speak to the assistant in, it'll respond to you in that language. Uh, so multilingual homes or people who want to use different languages through the day uh, will be able to do that. Uh, and it's, I'm really excited about it because it's kind of a uh, an AI-based technology that, that we think is really unique, so, so I'm excited about that one. Uh, beyond the languages, 
Uh, a second piece that we're uh, talking about here at MWC is deeper integration with carriers and phone manufacturers. Uh, where what we've seen is that people really want to use the assistant to ask not just about things in the world, you know, when is the next Barcelona football game, but also things about their device and their relationship with their carrier. And so working with folks like Vodafone, Telefonica, and several others, so you can ask the assistant things like, how many minutes do I have left this month? Or, hey, top up my, my uh, account. Or, how much data do I have left? These kinds of questions. Uh, and have that relationship with your carrier or with your device right through the system. And then thirdly, we're announcing some new features. Uh, one is uh, one that we've been really excited about called Routines. And this is the idea that you can use your voice to give a single command, uh, and then you can actually customize what that command will do. Uh, so for example, uh, when you walk into your house at night, you say, hey, Google, I'm home. Uh, and you can then set up what I'm home will do. OK, turn on the lights, turn on the soft music, uh, tell me about you know the weather tomorrow, or when's my first meeting, these kinds of things. Uh, and make that all happen with a single command. And then lastly, uh, a feature called location-based reminders. So if you had reminders for a while, remind me to do this at a certain time. What's exciting about this is now, for example, I can say to my smart speaker, uh, hey, remind me when I'm at the grocery store to pick up eggs. And then when I walk into the grocery store, my phone will buzz in my pocket. I pull it out and the assistant can remind me, hey, make sure you get the eggs. Uh, so it's really nice uh, idea of kind of going across the devices in my life, one single assistant who can help me uh, based on where I am. So that's what we have with the assistant. There's a couple booths, excuse me, a couple assistant booths back this direction. Uh, one that showcases uh, uh, some demos of the things I've talked about in the different languages. Uh, and then a second one that shows off a bunch of the different kinds of devices that either have the assistant built in or that you can control through the assistant. So thanks for listening, and now I'll turn it over to Aparna to talk about Lens. Uh, remind me to use the Google Assistant feature next time I'm in the grocery store. Hi everyone, my name is Aparna. I am a VP of Product on AR, VR, and Google Lens. Uh, as you heard Scott talk about, we think a lot about a natural interface to computing beyond just typing words into a search box. How do you naturally, conversationally at, talk to Google? And in the same vein, one of the things we've been thinking about is, wouldn't it be great if you could just point things and then let Google help you and let Google assist you in doing more with what you see? And this is why we started the effort around Google Lens. Now for us, the camera is an interesting medium in the sense that it's, there is camera in that is understanding and sensing the world, and there's noise around. <laughs> we let that pass. <laughs> Uh, there's camera in, which is understanding and sensing the world around us and making, putting meaning to it. Uh, that's Google Lens. And then there's camera out, that is putting digital objects into the real world. And uh, that's our effort around AR, so you'll hear more about that as well. Um, when it comes to Google Lens, uh, as mo most of you know, we started with a pixel preview uh, in October where we said, hey, how can we start assisting you in a visual way, get to help you do more with what you see. Uh, with landmarks, paintings, buildings, etc. The big announcement we had last Friday, there are two things to it. One is, now you can get your hands on it um, if you have any uh, flagship Android phone. So please uh, play with it and let us know how you think about it. In fact, we have a booth right this way, right next to the assistant. Uh, go give it a spin. That's the first thing. That is more Android devices. The second thing is, again, this is a multi-year game. This is a deep technical challenge in terms of understanding things around you in all sorts of lighting conditions, all sorts of objects. But we're making some really good steady progress. Uh, a couple of features that I want to call out here are being able to look at any text in the real world. Uh, think of it as copy and paste text from the real world to the phone. So point to a business card, point to a store sign, point to a wall of text, a recipe, a poem, uh, and then copy and paste and send it to someone or do something more with it. Uh, so that's, that's one of the features we're starting to roll out. The other feature that a lot of uh, folks have actually asked for, uh, including my nine-year-old son, which is identify plants and animals outdoors, right? What's that and what's this and so on. So these are the kinds of things that we find uh, useful where words are not enough and we, we need visual cues to be able, able to help users. So that's about Google Lens and I will hand it over to Amit to talk about AR uh, announcements. Good morning. Uh, so excited to be here. Uh, AR Core is now available on 100 million phones. We announced that a couple of days ago. 
So phones from Samsung S8, S7 Edge, Pixel, uh, LG, V30, OnePlus, all have the basic capability to project computing in the real world as if it's off the world. So, and you'll be able to see that right behind you in the AR Core demos. Give you four demos that you should absolutely check out. Any FC Barcelona fans here? Okay, check out, here we go, thank you, Neil. Uh, he's, he's part of our team. <laughs> he has to. Uh, great immersive experience, so you're, you're inside the stadium looking around in FC Barcelona. It gives you that feeling of immersion. Redesign a Porsche right on the tabletop. Pick colors from the real world and see what they would look like on your Porsche. Okay. Set up the room with Otto, uh, the retailer, and set up furniture in your room and see what it looks like before you purchase it. And uh, finally, Sotheby's, being able to set up the entire house with all the different furnishings and see what that might look like before you purchase a home. So it's really incredible experiences that we've built with partners. We're very excited that AR Core, moving forward, is coming to all the Android ecosystem. And so all the manufacturers from Xiaomi to Huawei to Samsung, and they announced that yesterday in the S9 event, the S9 phone is built with AR Core. So you'll start to see consumers using the experiences that you yourself will take a look at right behind there. And on the VR front, um, You'll be able to see two new experiences that we're showcasing uh, in the village. One is a VR 180 photo booth. So think of this as a camera, point and shoot camera, where you can take pictures with full depth and then look at them in any viewer. And check that out, actually, you can take your own picture. Uh, and also we're showcasing a standalone headset. So in the past, you had to kind of take your phone, put it into a viewer. We've actually put all of that, all those electronics, in a simple device which you can just put on your head. And there's a great Blade Runner experience if you're fans of that, to check out what it's like as if you're inside the movie. So both VR and AR rolling out across multiple phones with lots of scales. Very excited to show them to you. Thanks. Back over to... Oh, yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, Again, AR, VR, back over here. We've got Android right behind me here. There's Lens slightly farther down and Assistant after that. So enjoy the demos. Photographs and videos are 100% appropriate and there are people in the stands to answer questions. And if you have questions from the VR people, we're all around. So uh, enjoy. Thanks.